According to a study of M&Ms, 12% of peanut M&Ms are brown, 15% are yellow, 12% are red, 23% are blue, 23% are orange, and 15% are green. I've recorded these probabilities in the table on the right. If we sum these probabilities, it does come out to 100%. You randomly select four peanut M&Ms from an extra large bag of candies. Because the bag is extra large, we assume these probabilities will not change as the M&Ms are selected. We're asked to determine each probability and round all probabilities to four decimal places. This probability distribution is a multinomial probability distribution because there are multiple outcomes. Remember, if there are only two outcomes, we have a binomial probability distribution. But for these questions, all the probabilities involve the M&M as being red or not red, and therefore we can find these probabilities using the binomial probability formula shown here at the bottom of the screen. If we were trying to find the probabilities involving multiple colors of M&Ms, we would have to use the multinomial probability formula shown here at the bottom of the screen. So for number one, we're asked to compute the probability that exactly three of the four M&Ms are red. Because we are selecting four M&Ms and we want three of them to be red, we begin with four choose three. And then we have times the probability of a red M&M raised to the third power, which is 0 0.12 raised to the third power. And then times the probability of not red, which is one minus the probability of a red or one minus 0 0.12, we want one not red, and therefore we raise this difference to the first power. And now we evaluate this product to four decimal places, we have 0 0.0061. For number two, compute the probability that two or three of the four M&Ms are red, which is the probability of two red, two not red, or three red, one not red. Because we have an or here, we'll have to find the probability of these two events and then determine the sum. Let's begin by determining the probability two red, two not red. Because we are selecting four M&Ms, two of which we want to be red, we begin with four choose two, and then times the probability of red raised to the second power, which is 0 0.12 squared, times the probability of not red, also squared, which is one minus 0 0.12, again, squared. And then we have plus the probability of three red, one not red, which we found in number one, which is four choose three times 0 0.12 to the third times the quantity one minus 0 0.12 to the first. And now we go back to the calculator. To four decimal places, we have 0 0.0730. Number three, compute the probability that at most three of the four M&Ms are red. Well, at most three red means zero red, or one red, or two red, or three red. This would be a lot of work to determine. The only thing missing here would be four red, which means we can find the probability of at most three red by determining one minus the probability of four red. So let's go ahead and do that. The probability at most three red is equal to one minus the probability of four red, which means zero not red. First we'd have four choose four, which is really not needed because this is equal to one. And then we have the probability of red raised to the fourth power and then if we want to, we could include the probability of not red raised to the zero power, but that's just one as well. But I'll go ahead and include it for consistency. And now we go back to the calculator. Four decimal places, we have 0 0.9998. For the last question, compute the probability that at least three of the four M&Ms are red. Well, at least three means the probability of three or four red, or the probability of three red, one not red, or four red, zero not red. So for the probability of three red, one not red, we have four choose three times 
the probability of red raised to the power of three times the probability of not red, which is one minus 0 0.12 raised to the first power, which we've already used a couple times now. And then we have plus the probability of four red. Well, the probability of four red is part of our answer from part three, which is four choose four times 0 0.12 to the fourth. And the difference raised to the zero power is optional. I'll go ahead and include it for consistency. So the probability of four red would be four red, zero not red, which is why this part is optional. And now we go back to the calculator. For decimal places, we have 0 0.0063. I hope you found this helpful.